I'm Ellen Miles. I'm a gorilla gardener and the founder of Dream Green, which is a gorilla gardening community that teaches and equips people to start making their areas greener. And today I'm going to be making some seed bombs, which are key gorilla gardening tools. The first thing to do is to get some clay. Um, and what the clay does is hold the seed bombs together. About one cup of clay to two cups of compost. Powdered red clay is pretty good for this because it's quite neutral in terms of what it's going to do to the seeds. The next thing to do is to wet the clay. Just keep adding until it's pasty. So this is now a pretty good consistency, which means I can add the compost in and mix that all in. Try to make sure there's not any big lumps of sticks or twigs or anything in your compost, um, depending on what you're using. And do use peat-free compost. I think you're just looking to get a consistency where it's just staying together. It's kind of intuitive. Basically, you want, you want it to be able to make little balls. <laughs> And then what you're gonna do, add the seeds in. These are just a variety of wildflower seeds, native wildflower seeds um, to the UK, which will be great for pollinators. Um, it's a mix of annual and perennials. And then you're just gonna mix them in gently and just make sure you're not kind of just crushing them. Right, so that's about ready. Oh, one last thing. Optional, slugs, snails, squirrels, whatever it might be, aren't fans of spicy food, apparently. So a little bit of chili powder in there, should act as like another little defense barrier when you cast these on the ground um, to ensure that they're not just gonna get munched up. Now that you've done that, it's really just a simple case of shaping these into shapes. It's quite key to dry these as quickly as possible, as I say, so the seeds don't germinate. You don't want them to get too hot and you want them to kind of dry slowly rather than just kind of cracking apart. Um, so just, you know, use your common sense, put them in a, a warm, dry spot. And then all you have to do is find a neglected patch of soil and throw them down. So now you have your seed bombs. Once they're dried out, put them in a dish by the door so you can grab them when you head out, put one in your pocket to throw and grow on the go.